Good afternoon or good morning, wherever you at, guys. As I stated in the first video I put up of this little old homemade sawmill that I'm trying to put together here, I would kind of update y'all as the progress went along. I've got a lot of things put in place. Uh, not all of it is uh, actually exactly where it needs to be, uh, you know, welded solid. But everything is kind of jigged up. And I've cranked it up and the blade's running true with no guides or anything at this point. So I know we made some pretty positive progress. Um, I'm just gonna kind of run around it and give you all a, a few pointers as to how I did things on it today. I've taken some of the information that I've gotten off of the uh, YouTube videos and they have been very, very helpful. Uh, on this end, you'll see my adjuster. I can adjust the blade it with any way I want to go with it pretty much. Uh, and it seems to work very well. It's a little unusual. But we're working with a lot of stuff that we had left over from other projects instead of buying new product, new material, new steel, new bolts and nuts. And yeah, so far we're doing all right with it. I'll tell you, as you go along, you'll find out that it's really not as easy as uh, a lot of people say it is on YouTube. It's a lot of measuring, a lot of testing, a lot of fitting. We've got a little old bitty Kohler Command Pro 14 429cc motor that we pull off a water wheel drilling machine that we built several years ago. We just kind of swap it back and forth instead of buying two motors. You see here, I got four little old bitty bushings, or not bushings, but little rubber shock absorbers. I'm going to drill those out, put them underneath the, uh, the motor in between that and the uh, channel line that supports the engine here. Again, we've got the steel casters. I did run it for a while. I think that the pulley that I have right here is just going to be a little bit too small. I need to go a little bit larger. It's just spinning like crazy. I think it's running way, way, way too fast. Uh, at half the throttle, I think it's probably running faster than it needs to. So I should have taken the advice a lot of people on YouTube told us about uh, the pulley. That I think that's like an 8 inch, 8 and a quarter inch. Probably need to go to 10 to 11 inch to be able to really run the motor three-quarter throttle a little more to get the maximum torque out of it to actually drive the, the, the blade itself. This end I have fixed. It's uh, not adjustable. I do all the adjustment on the opposite end of it. You know, I appreciate any pointers anybody can give me. Like I said, there's a belt adjustment on it uh, with a little like a go-kart clutch, but it's a one-inch drive shaft. It seems to work pretty well. Acme screw rods for the adjuster. I come over this contraction of uh, actually running two chains with a little handle in the middle later on i might put a motor or something there in the center to make it easier to go up and down fine adjustment so it should work very well there also again we welcome any comments you might have any advice uh, we still got a long ways to go we've got the guides to put on it we've got the covers to put on it we got to make all that stuff right now it's just uh seeing how far we can get to make sure that it runs properly before we finish up anything else but as we go along we'll post some more videos and show y'all how we progress with it we appreciate your time y'all have a good day